What it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary J Mez, and we back right here, baby. Another brand new series here on the channel. I'm getting a little wild now. I've got three series going on now. Let's get into this right here. College football revamp. You can see from the title, Mississippi State Dynasty, as we are in the tough SEC West with Alabama, Arkansas, Ole Miss, Texas A&M, Auburn, and LSU. It's going to be a tough one, this series. I have already came through and made our coach right here, obviously. You got your boy, Legendary j Mans right here. We are going to be running a pro-style offense. That is what I typically like to run. I am a very run-heavy uh, offense. That's what I prefer to go do, and then run off the play action off of that. Heavy sub was uh, 60 setting for now, and then 4-3 multiple for the defense. Pretty even. Sub frequency only at 55. I like rotating the defensive line. Now for a quick look at the sliders real quick. These are from uh, Operation Sports J Kits. I will have a link for those in the, in the description, but 32 player minimum threshold, Heisman difficulty. We are on eight minute quarters, so that will be what we rock out with in this series. Obviously, these sliders are supposed to make it tough for you, especially if you're doing a lower dynasty. So we are a little higher, so our players are a little more skilled, but this is still definitely going to be tough in this uh, great conference of the sec so we'll see what we could do but uh yeah man uh college football wise i'm not the most knowledgeable like i don't really follow the sport but i do love this game it's great team building uh it's a great challenge so i really do enjoy playing it uh so just a heads up on that is i don't know many of the players in college football right now so but here's a look at the sliders as i told you they, they are pretty tough QB accuracy on five. Our wide receiver catching is on zero. So a lot of drops or if they're gonna make a big play, they gotta have the skill for it. And then the CPU, fairly similar, but they do definitely have a significant bump uh, compared to us. So we'll have to see how it goes, man. This SEC, we're gonna have to put it to the test, see if we could uh, compete. All right, so we're going over to the SEC and we are going to be, as you can see right here, all these teams are in the high 80s, low 90s, except for Mississippi State, who's at a 77 overall. And then over here, we got Vandy, also at a 77. So the two lowest teams, it was, I was debating between them, um, between these two, or I believe Big 12. Kansas was a 75. They're also low too. Mississippi State, we are going to be the head coach here. Let's go ahead and take these guys over, man. Obviously, first upgrade you got to do, scouting. Come on now. Basic. Right here, I want to make sure our pass rush is pretty solid, so I'll upgrade that first. And then, on this side of the ball, I'm going to make sure our carrying is pretty solid here. All right, quick look at the schedule now, as I did make some changes. we I add Coastal Carolina instead of, uh, instead of a FCS team right here. So, Oklahoma State started off in the Texas kickoff, and then we got Coastal Carolina. Auburn I uh, added Georgia State here instead of Troy is this is my streaming uh, series right here with Georgia State so I wanted to take uh, take them on and then that is it after that it's all conference play very tough very tough schedule a plus strength of schedule so if we would come out of this pretty good that will be pretty impressive but with this roster and these sliders it's definitely gonna be tough so we'll see now a uh, quick look at some of the red shirts we got right here Will Rogers is the starter in real life, and he's going to be the starter for us in this one. I went ahead and redshirted Sawyer Robinson since we'll have the starter, and then we got two seniors behind him. Might as well give him a redshirt year to take over uh, possibly when Will Rogers is done. Running back-wise, we got uh, Marks, and then I'm going to redshirt Johnson, but if obviously we get some injuries, we'll bring him in. Uh, with Johnson going to end up being the backup. No fullbacks on this team. Wide receivers, we have a shit ton of them, but we will make it work. As I do want to keep uh, Griffin in here with that 92 speed. We'll find some sets for him to get into and showcase some of his speed. Uh, tight end, we don't have any. So I don't know how I'm going to run this pro offense. Might have to switch it into a spread. Or, uh, yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. Switch into a spread offense because we don't have a tight end. So that's tough. Uh, offensive line, we're just redshirting some younger guys here. I believe only one, right? No, two. Both tackles who are freshmen, we redshirt them. We got Jordan Davis. He's probably going to move to right end uh, since we do have Jaden uh, Cremetti here. And then Odom and Russell are going to be heavy rotation guys as we do have a decent line, it seems. So 
uh, I don't know SEC standards probably not but hey this is used some more um, better skill players than I'm used to I mainly rebuild lower teams and then build them all the way up so this is definitely a different starting with a higher program for me so that's, that might take a little adjustment but I'm pretty sure I'll figure it out right here rest of the guys not much uh, red shirts we have one here and then we have a shit ton of strong safeties for some reason I do not know why but uh, I can see a lot of them, uh, a lot of seniors and juniors, they will be moving on. So, like I said, I don't know much about Mississippi State, don't know much about college football. Just uh, I usually just tune in for big games or something, or if there's a big game on that night, I'll watch it. But uh, yeah, man, that's the red shirts right there. Now the depth chart. All right, so look at the depth chart now. We're going to have Will, Wa Will, uh, Will Rogers starting, obviously, and then we got the two backups there. Uh, running back wise, we got two running backs, and then... If we get an injury, we'll bring back uh, the other guy we redshirted. Fullback wise, they're gonna throw. Uh, no, we're gonna throw Jareen in there. Ah. He can hop in there and block. Uh, wide receiver wise, we got Wally up here, uh, Heath, Williams, and Griffin. Rounding up our top four. Tight end wise, we don't have any tight ends on the roster, so it's gonna be a middle linebacker. So we'll see how this goes. Then we also got Polk and Ducking backing them up. So I'm gonna stick with this pro uh, style offense. If this don't work out, we're going spread right away. <laughs> Our heavy shotgun every every game. That's probably what it'll end up being. Offensive line wise, 87, a 76, 81, 81, and a 77. Not too bad, but I don't know about this SEC man. We'll see if they could hold up. Defensive line, I actually really like. We got Jaden Cremetti here and then Odom backing him up. Jordan Davis with Russell backing him up. So we're going to have a nice solid rotation on the defensive line with uh, Pickering, Cooley, and Young as well. It, uh, defensive tackle. Uh, right here, left outside linebacker is very strong for 87 and Tyree Sweet. Uh, Nathaniel Watson at a 79. And then uh, Aaron Brule at 85. So linebacker core is pretty solid. Uh, corners very slow uh it's gonna be tough for them to hold up here most likely uh i might want to move richardson up actually let's go ahead and check out his press really quick while we're here play rec not that high man coverage is a lot lower zones a lot lower press is a lot lower so yeah we'll just rock out with this i guess hopefully uh corners don't get burned too bad free safety jay jimison out there with cj morgan backing him up and then we got cj morgan a strong safety with Fred Peters backing him up. So let's actually move Peters up right here. As that will be most likely the substitution. And then the rest right there. We got Griffin doing that. Williams is punt returner. No. 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 Come on, game. Do better. Do better put Griffin doing both. I'm not no 79 return speed. Come on now. Do better. Uh, no. Uh, t -t 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 we'll do... For sure. Kickoff starter is going to be our kicker, obviously. So there's the depth chart for us right there. Quick look at our board now. So right here, tight end obviously is a big need for us. So we're going to go ahead and start the scouting here. Uh, got a couple, got one guy for backup, and then hopefully we get a couple starters in here. That'll be a high uh, priority for us. And then the rest will just go by overall. And scout, we are going to need a new punter. Ooh, that boy looking nice. We are targeting, I haven't had a major, like, big school before off the rip, so I'm not sure how to target. So, we'll see what, what we can pull off and who we can't. But, that's basically it. I'm going to go through a scout. We'll go more in-depth on the recruits in a later episode when we know more about them. Alright, here we are, week one. We're going to be taking on Oklahoma State in the first game next episode. But, let's go ahead and take a look at the preseason polls real quick. See where we are. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fairly low. Now, I'll go over the top 25 real quick for those of you who are interested. Oh, look at San Jose State at 45. That's where I live pretty close to. But we're ranked at 53. So we're 81 overall now, which is weird how before we were 77. But now we hop in the game, we're 81. But eh, whatever. We'll work, we'll work with it. But looking at the top 25 from here, Arizona State 25, Utah Louisiana Raging Cajuns up here, okay, Coastal Carolina, Texas, Penn State, USC at 15, Miami, 
North Carolina, Notre Dame, okay, and then Alabama, Oklahoma, Clemson, Ohio State, and Georgia rounding out the top five, so that's a quick look at the preseason polls right there. Heisman watch, I'm not sure how accurate this is actually is going to be, but just a quick look at all, all the quarterbacks real quick. <laughs> a 69 overall quarterback at BYU, mm, I'm not sure about that, Chief, so I'm pretty sure this will develop as the series goes uh, throughout the season. But uh, yeah, man, that's going to be it for us. This is going to be the first game of the year. We are not picked to win this one against Oklahoma State. So let's see if we can pull off an upset in game one. Uh, so that's going to be it for me. If you guys enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Hit that subscribe button to keep up with this series and my other series going on on my channel. It would be much appreciated. And leave a comment down below if you're excited for this series. Maybe another team you guys may want to see or any tips i'll take any tips at this i'm pretty i would say i'm pretty good at this but obviously always open to some recommendations of what you guys want to see and uh yeah man that's it for me catch you on next one peace